This is Graham, and he is a man with a learning disability and type 2 diabetes. Hi, my name is Graham. I am 50 years old and I have diabetes type 2, and I would like to share with you how I cope with this day by day. When I first knew I had diabetes, I wasn't sure what this would mean for me, and it has taken me quite a long time to get into a routine of managing it. In the next part of this video, we see Graham using a special instrument to collect a drop of blood from his finger to test his blood sugar levels using his glucose monitor. We then see him using a specially designed insulin injection that looks like a pen to inject himself with insulin. I have to use a glucose meter to take my blood four times a day to check if it is okay and that my sugar levels are in a good place. I will then know if I need to eat more or less food or take exercise or drink water as this could help. Some weeks my blood sugars are high and sometimes they are low. I have to keep it below 100 to be safe. Graham has to test his blood sugar levels four times a day and he has to keep the measurement below 100 to be safe. Tell me about insulin and how you take it. I have to inject myself with insulin every day into different parts of my stomach using a special syringe that looks like a pen. It's easy to use and I'm used to it now. In the beginning, I was nervous about it and I wasn't sure I was getting it right. But I received some support from my doctor and community nurses and they showed me how to do the injection. It really doesn't bother me now and I'm completely comfortable with it. It is no big deal, but I know it's keeping me alive and well. Do you have to attend regular appointments? Yes, I have to go to the hospital sometimes for them and it's important because that is where I can get support and information about my diabetes and how I'm doing with it. What advice would you give to someone with a learning disability and diabetes who is watching this? My advice is being a diabetic shouldn't stop you from following your dreams and doing what you want to do in life. I always stay positive and try to keep my blood sugars down and regularly record them. And this means I can do the things that I want to do. Thank you, Graham, for sharing your experience and knowledge of managing type 2 diabetes. Links to information about diabetes and support that is available to you if you have diabetes can be found in the description below this video.